All right, part deuce of the videos. Uh, I'm just, I just want to go through this stuff quick and finish it up. It's chilly out. Uh, I'm, I'm thirsty. And I got to take a pee. So here we go. A deluxe desktop set. Pokemon. Uh, don't know what I paid. I, I, I can't remember. I bought it with other stuff. So it's, it's like a mix in price. But it's complete in the box. Originally sold for between $10 to $12. Uh, so um, if my kid doesn't want this North Face jacket, I'm going to sell it. I don't know if I'm going to sell it on a, let me see, hopefully it's a good size. It's a large. Uh, I'll probably sell it on Facebook. Okay. This is just a box of, uh, check this out, two for a dollar. We like enchiladas, so, so this is coming in handy. This is, I'm showing BS right now. Um, this is fun. It's, I guess this is, uh, what's his name? Pillow. Does this do something? That's got Velcro on the back, so I guess something goes in there, or maybe it makes a noise or something. Yeah, there's something in here. Uh, you see me, Sen Nation. So I guess it's John Cena. Kind of look like John Cena. All right. But this whole box was like eight bucks, because I was like, how much are toys in there? And a lady was like, I don't know, you know, just make a pile. And I said, well, how much you want for everything? And she was like, I don't know. I said, um... I think, I was like, I said, oh yeah, I said, well, just tell me, you know, and I'll know if I want to, and she said, $8, and I was like, uh, okay, so, uh, oh, I got a, this hat, but it's a kid size hat, so nobody can really wear it, except kids, and then, there, actually, I'm probably going to throw some of this stuff away, you know, like, yeah, because this has stains, but there's, you know, there's stuff in here, there's some figures, this, I think, is from, uh, what is this? Oh, this is G.I. Joe? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Alright. I got some Spider-Man DVDs. These are probably for the flea market. <clears throat> Nothing special there. You know what? Let me just randomly scoot through the box. You know, for eight bucks, I figured, who cares? This must be an X-Man. Got a Nerf pistol. Okay, this is like here. Here's a Smurf. So I think what I'll do is I'll cherry pick this. And like, uh, there's a bunch of Hot Wheels in here. I like Hot Wheels. They're good for the flea market. I actually have a whole bunch. Uh, this looks like a Transformer, but a cheap one. All right. So basically, I bought a box of Hot Wheels with a smiley carrot. Okay. So that's that. All right. Uh, I bought these shirts. I got these three for 10. NFL. It looks legit. I mean, what do I know? That's a number 96. It's in good condition. The lady said her kid sent away for him. Uh, Wilkerson spent like a lot of money. I got three for 10. Uh, they were five bucks each. And I, I don't know anything about this stuff. So I, so I figured out, oh, like, uh, will you take 10 for the three? Figuring they'd say no, because I didn't really want it, you know, if it was going to be expensive. Because, again, I don't know this stuff, you know. Richardson. Even if it's only like $5 to $10, I just put them in the shop on a rack and sell them like that. Here's a magazine. Okay. Uh, oh, and I got this third one. That's This is the three for ten. Okay. Uh, number 50... Lee, it's uh, it can't be really high quality because I know the good stuff is is all stitched on the letter. So, but three for ten, like I said, who cares? I bought these T-shirts. I think these uh, one a dead cactus jack. It's not an old old one, but it's on a Gildan, printed on a Gildan. So one a dead or alive, and it has. Foley 50 on it. Don't know what that means. And then uh, this one. This looks like it had something to do with wrestling. But I wasn't sure. BJ, BC Rules. And it said, the tag said, King of Sports, New Japa Pro Wrestling. Japan, Japan Pro, New Japan Pro Wrestling. 
Oh, it's got this on it. Bullet Club. I have no clue. So I just thought it was cool. If it's absolutely zero nothing, I will just wear it because it's my side. All right. Jewelry was in the other video. I bought these two Jurassic Park inflatable dinosaur costumes. They're for kids. So they were um, originally sold for like 45 a piece. I could probably sell this. If I put these on eBay, I could probably get 40 uh, a piece. 35, 40. They're not new. I have to get batteries, plug them in and check them out. But whatever. Uh, okay. I bought a bunch of Blu-rays, like a buck a piece. Nightmare Before Elm Street. And then I bought some wrestling stuff. And unless this is worth a lot of money, which I don't believe it will be, I'm going to take these and bring them in the shop and then when we have wrestlers in if any of the wrestlers shown on these appear in these videos because we're doing all these wrestling promotions and i mean i know i'm not going to get the rock <laughs> in the shop but uh there's a chance we can get one of the other lesser known guys you know there's a lot of names in here so if anybody comes in you get you sign it you know. uh, look, there's that guy uh, then I bought some movies. I, I just he had them for two pieces. I said, hey, if I buy a, a bunch, will you go buck a piece? He said, yeah, sure. So I got some Halloween type movies. There's some more of the wrestling Blu rays. Got this one. Got this one. Oh, um, Devil's Rejects House of Thousand Corpses is pretty good. Got that. All right, let's just keep going. All right, let's see. Um,. Supposedly, this is funny. So, I thought it might be cool to see. Um, Money Bank, it's another wrestling one. Ladder Match Anthology. Jingle All the Way, a classic Christmas movie. Christmas is coming up. Martin Scorsese Collection. You know, probably isn't worth much because most of these are on Netflix. But for a dollar, I'll just put it in the shop. And then people go, whoa, you got three movies. The price of one. Straight out of Compton. I didn't see this. So, I thought it would be interesting to see. Another WrestleMania. Got Rock and John Cena. Oh, Ozzy Osbourne. Probably not worth much. And Kiss Loves You, a film by Jim Henniga. I don't know if it's good or bad. If it's worth it, I just figured out. Maybe that's some value. Um, Sausage Party. Rated R. I wonder if this is, if this is like, unrated. Um, it's 4K, but it also has a Blu-ray. I don't know if you, if anybody saw Sausage Party. It's pretty nasty, but I did see it. I actually saw it big screen in the theater, and uh, whatever, you know, it, it was. It had its moments. Amazing Spider-Man in 3D, probably uh, not worth much, but for a dollar, it's great for the store. Here's a Money Bank again. Uh, Predator in 3D for a dollar. I like Schwarzenegger. And casino. What I told the guy was, like, I'm just since you get me a deal, I said I'll, I'll spend thirty bucks. All right. Uh, oh, what's in this box? Okay, this one's signed. Uh, Red Riddell. Let's see. They said this one had a card. And they told me the name of the other one. Who's this? Brock Stevens. Okay. Signed. It's Ruben Drones, number twenty-two. So I guess it's Ruben Drones. Never heard of them. But it's a Giants mini helmet. You know, I bought these for five a piece. Whatever. I, I, I don't know about this stuff, so I'm, I'm, I'm willing to learn if it's not expensive. And this one, I, I heard of this game. This was... Uh, here. Something Cruise. Nick Cruise. Number 80. Uh, Super Bowl, New Orleans. I'll be able to figure this out, though. This one doesn't have a card. They said they he, that he signed it at some kind of party. You know, five bucks. You know, it's it's not it's not a hard lesson. Um, thanks. Their stuff is usually expensive, and this is uh, comes in the bo dirty box. Oh, here, here's what it originally sold for. Okay, thirteen bucks. Suggested eighteen. Either this was I was rounding it up to thirty at another sale, I think. So either this is BS or it's not. I don't know. Um, I bought this lone guy at a sale for a buck. Uh, funny story. They had um, a camera, a Nikon Coolpix, 
and um, I am at, I I just knew it wasn't gonna work, right? Oh, I got a Troy Aikman card, uh, made uh, sealed, and I got a Michael George, uh, Jordan rookie of the card, rookie of the year card. I don't know what that is. What is this? Chicago West Stadium Sports. I don't know. I paid a buck a piece for these. I just I saw this. And I was like, Michael Jordan, right? Because I'm, I'm, I don't know a lot about sports. And I know Michael Jordan, and like everybody else, I know Michael Jordan is a famous basketball player. But did you know Michael Jordan also played uh, baseball for the Chicago White Sox for a year? Well, <clears throat> I didn't. Now I do. Um, I got some... I got a Metallica CD. But then I got some some Sega Dreamcast games for a buck a piece. These were left... Because I got them at the end of the day. Someone bought all the other games. This was their leftovers. Uh, Virtua Tennis. Here's a sticks. Now, for a dollar, I'll buy this stuff. And when I get a uh, Dreamcast that I just want to sell, the console, I will throw this in as a, a BS game to play with. Um, I did get Namco Museum. So I, I imagine it's this is at least a ten dollar game now, because Sega Dreamcast games nobody's finding them. They're not falling out of trees. Um, and then I got Soul Calibur, and I imagine it's at least a ten dollar game. You know, let me just do this. Sorry. And again, these were only a dollar a piece. So, and then I bought these two empty cases: Quake Three Arena. I don't know why I said arena. That's not a word. I told her, "Hey, I need I need the cases uh, because these are broken. Can I just take these cases?" And they were like, "Sure." This is probably worth as much as anything else here. And I, and then I got this MSR Metropolis. Probably the uh, Quake Arena one's the best. Um, this is a Hummel Holy Water thing container. Um, you put the holy water in there. And then you just, you know, like after you eat chicken, you dip your fingers in and you clean them. And no, it's it's for blessings, you know. Uh, Catholic people know what this is for. I got some uh, Star Wars glasses. They're dirty. Well, this these look like the old Star Wars ones. Let's see what the date on it says. Nineteen seventy-seven. Uh, that's like forty-three years ago. That's why Luke Skywalker looks so old now. Uh, I don't know if it's a complete set, but I believe I got 11 of them. This one. Now, I don't know exactly what these are worth. I think I've had them and sold them on eBay for about 10 a pop. I think some are worth a little more than others. If these are in good condition, I'm debating on what to do with them. I'm pretty sure they're a McDonald's promotion or something. Burger King. Coca-Cola Burger King. Okay. So anyway, I, I probably got... I think I think this one might be a little better than the other ones. You know, everybody wanted Princess Leia. Here's Princess Leia. I, re, I mean, you guys know what this stuff is, right? Um, they're worth, in, in, in my opinion, before I check prices, they're worth, like, at, at the very least, five to ten apiece. All right. Uh, let me just finish up. Uh, that's okay. I broke the sticks case. That's fine. All right. Let me just try and kick my way around this box. Okay. I'm doing it outside my car because I don't feel like carrying the stuff back to the backyard and then bringing the stuff that I'm going to leave in the car in the car. Okay. The last thing I'm going to show you is I got some of these Disney cups. They were like 50 cents a piece. Uh, or, and, and some of the other cups were like a quarter. Now, people like these, so I can put them either in the store or online. I'll look up prices, and I bought some of these. These sell. I don't sell for a lot, but I, again, they were like, these were, I believe, a quarter? Some stupid cheap price, right? So, I don't know if these are the anniversary ones. These are McDonald's. But then I bought these. These McDonald's uh, Pyrex cups, I think they're Pyrex. Let me see if I can... There's no light. All the sun is gone. Here, hold on. Here's a spot of sun. Hold on. Let me just find a spot of sun. Okay. 
Fire King. Okay, these are probably Fire King. I don't think they're Pyrex. But these Good Morning McDonald's ones might be worth online. They might be worth 10, 15 a piece. I don't really know. I think I got a couple of them. And then at that point, I was like, ah, just give me all the cups. You know, because I was like, I don't have time. This one's kind of cool. It's iridescent. And this is a federal one. Um, I like the shape of this one. But I just basically said, just give me all the cups. Uh, this is a goofy one. To hell with housework. Let's have coffee. I don't know. Here's a plaid one. It says mom. Maybe I should have been more selective. Okay, here's a second McDonald's. But I figured, like, the McDonald's ones, I got four. It might be worth 30, 40 bucks to pay for everything. Because it, when I say pay for everything, look, here's five of them. So either I have four, four five, or six. Here's a bird. A, a, a robin. So I have six of these. Uh, and then I got this one. So basically, if I was being selective, I would have only bought these two. This one looks a little sandy. Right. Anyway, that's that's everything I got today. I spent 146. I think I, even though I didn't get, you know, I got like a bunch of weird, weird stuff. You know, I bought the stuff that I felt was inexpensive, and that I'd be able to make a, a very big profit on. Like, like these. Even if I only sold those for five dollars a piece, you know, I paid. There's five. There's eleven of them there. I paid eleven dollars. That's fifty bucks. You know, so that's five times my money. Um, same, same with those. If I sell those on McDonald's, uh, I mean on eBay, say I get like uh, even if if the McDonald's only worth five bucks a piece, they could be worth more. I don't know. Same deal. And then like the cot, like those. Like I said, I can sell those. Halloween's coming up. I still have time. So overall, I think I did pretty good, especially with the jewelry. The jewelry. Like, we spent $22. There's oh, there's hundreds of dollars of jewelry there. All right, anyway, um, I'm nowhere tomorrow. No flea market, no nothing. Uh, next week I'll be at, I believe it's Carney. I'll be taking out random stuff that I just stuck in the car because I'm not doing CDs and DVDs at the flea market so much. I mean, I'll take out some DVDs and Blu-rays and just sell them cheap. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it. You know, I don't even know if I'm going to bother going shopping tomorrow. Um, the word is on the street that the signing went very well today. Uh, had a lot of virtual signings. Had a few uh, in person. So even that even that uh, was good. And, uh, yeah, and then we have our signing, Miss Jackie, on Tuesday, uh, 6 o'clock and later. All right, anyway, I'm out of here. Bye.